All right, guys. So I am quickly gonna do a showcase of Moon Gundam, and I'm just gonna let you guys know outright. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat this in it. It's uh, pretty awful when we are taking a look at it without any investment. You can definitely say that for any unit out there, but there are definitely certain unit out there even without any enhancement, like I'm talking about the potential leash or even the transcendent skill. Uh, they are already cooking, but this one. Um, you can kind of cap big and call this one like a, yeah, it's still a good support, but at a cost is only to any of the close combat units. Um, other than that, like I would rather use a different support than this one. And I'm just gonna say like I'm not the biggest fan of like evasion. Then you gain increased damage whatsoever. Uh, 99% of the time, if your evasion rate is not anything higher than let's say like a 70 plus percent you probably will not feel the damage all right uh we do have like a good 28 percent for the first 30, 30 seconds but after that we are on our own uh even on the transcendent skill is a little bit more time kit as well so it's certainly going to be used for arena but if you are someone that's only able to pull one copy if you toss this into arena i mean I, I guess good luck because it's not really going to perform good either because like just no investment no transcendent skill does make this unit really vulnerable uh there's just gonna be a lot of situation where this unit could already get sniped off and it's the end of the world um i guess in in in, in terms of the module wise we are going for the double evasion so we can try to minimize the um, I guess lose of evasion that we don't have from the uh, transcendent skill. So this one is giving me up to a 15% while this one is giving me up to a 13%. So at least we are almost nearly the same as what the skill one is offering at the uh, like after the first 30 seconds then that's pretty much what, what are we rocking with. Um, but yeah, that's just not enough because you do have to encounter that oh the enemy might have uh, let's say accuracy increase as well. So in that case it's, it's kind of netting it off so yeah pretty unfortunate it but uh in terms of the weapon power level wise they're not that bad they're s minus from both of them so we will definitely take that it, it gets better after we do have the potential leash but in terms of our showcases we're not going to be doing that uh one thing i do want to know i accidentally put this unit to custom level 11 because how they're handling or after the ui changes so i accidentally fed all of my ui custom tickets so i'm kind of bumped out uh, even my other unit that I use regularly are not even custom level 11. So let, let alone a unit that I'll probably not use after the showcase. Yeah, that's that's definitely my bad. But team wise, we are going to be using the following. So I am trying to maximize the amount of, um, you know, close combat unit you know, I'm using. Like we have the raid units, like pretty much all of them is raid except for the moon Gundam. Um, we'll be tossing in the high new as well uh, because I think this is a unit that I have never showcased on my global account so why not just actually toss it in. We're going to be bringing he in two healer. We have Jim and then we have a new Gundam because I know this squad cannot survive alright so I, uh, I just want to bring some extra insurance so we can at least survive just a little bit longer so i'm just going to be tossing in some equipment over here and then we should be good to go so i'm just going to be hopping into the unicorn um co-op because i feel like that's probably a better match to um, go into than some of the other one um, i'm not even comfortable with taking Wingen and bringing them into let's say the what is it the battle rush because with the amount of evasion rate we only have I don't really think it's gonna be that great. So I guess just, just gonna hop in and see how Moon Gundam performs. All right, so let's kind of see. So placement wise, um, I guess we gotta reconfigure it just a little bit. Um, I guess I'll put Moon Gundam, Moon Gundam up front like that. And then I am, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it a swallow. So I think that should be fine. Uh, right off the bat, I do wanna quickly show you guys the sprite in game. So this is how it looks like. So. It's not bad. It's not bad, right? Um, and then we will obviously show off the EX gear first because uh, I think I have a pretty bad tendency of not showing you guys the EX gear. So let's actually get that in here as well. 
Um, I think our first goal is actually trying to pop the EX skill and then we should have a little bit of an easier way to uh, get the EX skill gauge recovery by that 10 seconds. So it's gonna go away like a like like a fly because it's uh, the duration is just not long enough. Even look at this, even high new guys is the uh, ultimate or the uh, EX skill a little bit faster. Like look at that, that's insane. Yeah. That's the problem with like moving them. Like the hit rate is ridiculously slow. It re uh, it cycles through two melee weapons, and then goes into a cycle place, and then it's and that's kind of it, right? That's uh, I'm gonna see if we do see a increase in terms of the uh, EX skill gauge being recovered a little bit faster. Um, I don't think we will see that too often in here. And let's gonna see. Okay. I guess it's not that bad because the other unit hasn't even cycled through. Okay, we have had new cycling through already, so that's cool, right? All right, so moving them. Let's go. I mean, like at least the animation looks nice. So I'll give you that. Uh, other than that, how 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 are we doing? Okay. All right. I think after this, I will actually pause the animation now because it's uh, it's gonna take it's gonna take a hot minute to to get through everything. Um, did I not focus on Moon Gundam? Oh, okay, there you go. So so far, Moon Gundam is uh, not looking too bad. So okay, I'll I'll definitely take that. Um, is this one of those situations where it's really RNG based because you just never know when you're getting the evasion uh, unless you just have like a guaranteed evasion or um, the enemies for sure targeting you. And dude, we need the healing real bad because we are we are taking a lot of hits. That's the problem. With, oh my gosh! If Moon Gunner would have at least evade, yeah, we would have we would have been cooking. But no, uh, Moon Gunner said no. So I think what we are seeing definitely gives me a good conclusion of how um, I, I guess how decent it is at you know just at no investment so that's i think that's pretty much where we are going to end things off with unfortunately uh i just wish that i'm able to showcase soft moon a little bit better but um i just don't feel like putting in the resources into maxing out the transcendent skill because um, i know this is not going to be a unit that i'll be using for a long time anyway so i just don't see the overall purpose of it so i think what we are going to do now since like I say that Moon Gundam is more of like a support type unit at the moment. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a Moon Gundam and I'm gonna put in Nightingale as a replacement. So we will start a new co-op and then we are just gonna hop into the same map, um, just the unicorn one and then we will see um, how the Nightingale fares against Moon Gundam. Are you going to be using Nightingale? So that's time around, I think I'm just gonna put it at three times speed. So Nightingale, without any investment, is pretty much like just a support. Uh, it gives you like a squad uh, beam damage up. So I think is that that part is actually pretty good because most of the unit that we are using in the team is actually beam oriented. So I I mean like everyone is able to take advantage of it. So I would definitely say I like unit that offers a more universal buffing rather than just a really cheeky and niche you know melee like i i mean it's not bad all right i'm, I'm not saying that it's bad but um i think if you're you know a free-to-play player or you're you just want something that's you know it's a little bit more broad you can use in like a day-to-day -day content without you know having to sacrifice only for like a specific typing um, I'll definitely go for Nightingale, even though Nightingale is, you know, is a worse unit to, to look into because of the survivability does not really kick in until you are looking at the transcendent skill. Uh, but I think overall, it's definitely a different thing you have to take a look at. Uh, Moon Gundam could be busted, alright? I'm not gonna say his his outright bad. Uh, is this the investment, alright? It, it, it's just, it, it's a matter of fact, like, do you want to put in the resources, like the, your rainbow coins, if you did not max it out during the banner period release, or um, you just, you just 
have to do something else like unit enhancement or whatever but um, I think at an initial glance I would definitely say the buffing itself is kind of alright 17% uh, to the melee and even the melee unit I'm using aren't really the top tier one um, I think for this showcase is definitely trying to give you guys a glimpse of how it could do rather than testing its like true peak performing because obviously we cannot do that um, I can't even use this unit alongside with some of my other one unit you know like the sasabis or like form unicorn whatever because this uh, it always get uh, overshadowed so it's definitely something that I'm, I don't want to do um, so that's why I opted to use some other unit that I feel is a little bit more uh, on the same level or on the same page if you will uh, but other than that it, as uh, as a stand right now I definitely say without any investment or without any um, stars or whatever moving in them is just not that good all right um, um yeah <laughs> it's pretty terrible so i'm just gonna leave it at that i think you guys definitely will have a different interpretation because you know i i like that again i don't have this unit max out so it's definitely hard to engage how it could be at max out performance but i'm just gonna leave it at that and i'll be catching you guys all on the next one